Before laying the original Maldava, it is important to open the box as it comes from the factory and mix the contents of the box completely. This is necessary for every format of our original Meldafa flat-facing bricks. It is also necessary for homogeneous facade appearance. On your construction site, you should use a pad for this and not do this on the dirty floor. The box is completely emptied and now we start mixing. To do this, we roll the tiles as we put it down once in principle from left to right and from right to left. And then we start to gather the facing bricks together again and put them back into the box. In the box, there are always flat facing bricks, enough for three square meters. And if you mix a box in the morning, you can almost work till lunchtime. And then start with the next box. Please make sure that the facing bricks do not curl up and are stacked straight and on edge in the box. And as you worked here with the flat facing bricks, you can also work with the corner bricks. You do not have to completely empty the box and mix it. Please make sure not to process the same color shades directly under each other. The main facade appearance is created by the flat facing bricks and not in the corner areas. And then the box is mixed and ready for installation. Our anthracite bonding mortar is part of our standard range. It also includes cement grey and sand white. The Meldorfer bonding mortar can be adjusted to a lot of different color shades and must be styled before using. An addition of water of about 10% is allowed, for example for laying in summer times. And when the bonding mortar is mixed, then the material is ready to use. For the basics of laying, it is important to group the layer size. To do this, we start at the upper window of the building. We hold a corner facing brick with a side length of 24 cm and 11.5 cm, so called corner facing brick one to one, in the upper corner of the window. Here we note that the distance to the window revel is about one centimeter. Then we mark a line on the upper edge. Do the same on the soffit below. In this case we move the facing brick up to the upper edge of the lintel. And we also mark a line on the lower edge of the facing brick. And so the layer dimension is determined. These two lines can be extended with a spirit level. First at the bottom and then at the top. This leads in a working area of 31 centimeters. When we want to extend our layer measurement downwards, we have to add another one centimeter for the join, because this line represents the lower edge of the facing bricks. 
this leads to the next layer dimensions of 32 centimeters. From here, we can make the next mark using a shuck line to spirit level. And so, our first two layer dimensions for the laying of the Meldorfer flat facing bricks are determined. So, let's start laying. Then, we apply the Meldorfer bonding mortar to the facade. The markings here, above and below, should remain largely visible. It is also important to apply enough mortar in the window corner areas. Please make sure that we don't have avoid cavities, especially in the corner areas. This can first be applied with the trowel, as it done here. And then we are using again the tooth trowel. Then we start laying our corner facing bricks. We pay attention to the joint, which should be 10 to 12 millimeters, and press the facing bricks into the bonding mortar with pushing movements. And then we apply the joint coat with a 15 mm paintbrush. We go from the corner upwards and make sure that the edges of the Meldorfer are 100% in the adhesive. The flat facing bricks must be tightly coated all around so that no water can rinse behind. If this has been done, the next step is the facade. For laying on the facade, as already seen, the Meldorfer headers can be made very easily with the Meldorfer angle cutter. The Meldorfer headers are half stones, which have a length of 11.5 cm, not 12 cm, which would actually be half of 24 cm because you still have to cut out the one centimeter joint. After that, the sharply cut facing bricks can be rounded off a bit directly on the facade, so that they look like the original facing bricks. Then the facade can be covered with the Meldorfer. It has been proven to be useful to lay at first the bottom and then the top along the marking and to fill out the rest between. When the bonding mortar has been applied, the material can be combed horizontally to finish. This will make it easier to paint the joints.
With pushing movements, we apply the original Meldafa. You have to pay close attention to the joints being 10 millimeters all around. The cuts are very easy to make. Und oben. When we start to paint the joints, we start at first with the horizontal joints with a damp paint brush and make sure that the melt of a flat facing bricks is well worked in with bonding mortar all around. Once this is done, the vertical joints follow. After a few minutes, when the painting is finished, the facade can be swept with a soft brush to remove excess mortar. Likewise, the same on the rolling layer. And, of course, in the window areas. Excess mortar we remove from the facade with the trowel and then we go with the next line of Meldorfer. This was the example laying of the Format 2 Holstein, one of the facing bricks from the standard range. Format 2 is about 52 mm high and 240 mm long. In this example installation of Meldorfer flat facing bricks, a classic roll layer with vertically standing facing brick was now executed. In addition, we use a half brick bond where we cut the heads out of the facing bricks with the Meldorfer Anger Cutter. It is called a half brick bond because the vertical joints are always offset by half a brick. While we in our first example installation we created a vertical row layer with our one-to-one -one corner bricks, Holstein, in our second installation we lay a horizontal brick layer in the area of the lintel above the windows. And we do this here with our flat facing bricks Hamburg, which is also a part of our standard range and is characterized by its two colors. Each stone is a unique, is made by hand and has the dimensions of 71 mm high and 240 mm long. With its 71 mm, this format is higher than the last one which was 52 mm. Therefore, our work area must be adjusted. For this, the dimension must increase. For this processing, we pay attention to the lower edge of the lintel and measure 33 cm and make us a mark.
we extend this mark again with our spirit level. In this area, we apply our bonding mortar again. This is a standard bonding mortar in the color cement gray, compared to the previous mortar on Trotzi. As already explained, anything is possible in terms of bonding mortar color shades. The lintel must be filled with the bonding mortar, so that our Sturzwagerecht corner brick can be placed correctly to the facade. I have already prepared Sturzwagerecht in the dimension 71 mm, 115 mm and 240 mm. This side is the facade side and therefore has the same dimensions as the flat facing bricks in normal format. The brick laying of Sturzwagerecht is the same as two lay facing bricks and corner facing bricks. This is our standard dimension. It is no problem to adjust the reveal depth directly in the production of the facing bricks, so that the Sturzwagerecht facing bricks fills the entire reveal and it's flush with the window edge. Sturzwagerecht can also be cut into a head at 11.5 cm. The joints are painted in the same way as in the processing just shown. What you see here is a classic wild bond with an irregular placement of heads and a horizontal brick formation at the upper reveals, the lintels of the windows. A special feature of the horizontal stretcher formation is that the lintel was cut out in a corner to create a real clinker look, because a real clinker lay down to the left and also to the right on the wall. You can easily replicate it with Sturzwagerecht by cutting out the corners with the Meldorfer Angle Cutter.